and once again welcome back to my channel server gyan my name is dr lokendra singh and today we are going to discuss about software development life cycle and apart from this we are going to discuss about very very important topic which is discussed during interviews so definitely we will discuss about build and release process so let us understand about software development life cycle so like process begins with first of all require like planning like what we are planning to introduce what are the particular components which we are going to give as a part of next release to our end users so things begins with planning once planning is done then after it goes for requirement gathering which means when a new product is being developed so we will have to gather the requirement like what all components are there what all piece of software will be required what all technology will be required uh, whether there is only back end change front end change whether uh, like we are going to make any modification within uh, application workflow or maybe website workflow everything we will have to uh, think and we will have to discuss on that once requirement is gathered then technical team or maybe you can say that engineering team will uh, design that particular like how it is going to be served to end user and if there is any integration required maybe third uh, some third party applications will be accessing it some maybe th uh, some uh, client must be accessing your internal api so how you are going to expose your api to your external team then the uh, particular design part will be discussed then after developers will dev do, uh, do the development and for sure they will prepare the software they will develop the software and after that that will be given to testing team now testing team will be responsible to check each and every functionality which were which were designed which was uh, discussed during planning requirement gathering and particular design so everything it means what all new features were supposed to be delivered so these will be tested here under testing phase now for sure uh, the next phase is going to be deployment so it could be using jenkins circle ci or maybe any other automation tool so using that definitely deployment process will happen now what next once things are deployment deployed onto onto like in individual environments maybe dev prod pre prod or whatever environments are there then operations and maintenance will be uh, taken care by devops team or maybe any team maybe that could be ops team devops team sre team or any team could be responsible for this thing so this particular process is known as software development life cycle like planning requirement gathering designing software development testing and deployment and after that operation maintenance yes fine that is good so now uh, what next so what are the particular things we do so first of all obviously like uh, when we talk about the particular planning so release plan so first of all we have to do release planning then after we will have to discuss about the like build release so when it is going to do or who is who will be responsible for it and everything we will discuss in detail so for sure like what next particular stuff here is first of all like development what all tools are required for development obviously like we will be needing github for version control so from master branch there will be like pull down and create local feature branch new branch will be, will, will be created then after your developer will uh, start working on it developer will do the other development and after that developer will create a pr it means pull request create pr means create pull request developer will create a pull request now the request will be sent to obviously right now we are we are talking about version control system only which is github now peer code reviews so peer code reviews means let us say developer a has done the development now developer v uh, developer b is going to verify that each and every component is right all the particular functions line of code and everything it will be checked by by peer then after uh, developer will check for the like bug check security analysis and passing builds so these three things will be checked so for sure bug checking we can use sonar cube maybe code quality gauge and uh, like we can have any other security tool as well for checking code quality and if build pass then for sure like it will be merged to github master branch okay then what will happen in case of failure once again developer will will be notified and developer will have to work on that developer will once again create another pr and the same process will be followed until and unless this particular flow works it means till the time the code is merged into master maybe to release branch till that time this particular flow will keep on working now next thing it means qa qa means quality assurance so quality assurance team will do qa testing then after user bug analysis 
so user bug analysis then after security analysis if it fails then obviously it will be notified to developer and developer will have to take care of it fine what next if this particular test pass then obviously like using Jenkins or maybe any other automation deployment tool we will deploy it to pre-prod environment so like uh, it could be your uh, AWS code deploy or maybe AWS code pipeline it could be so using that particular you will have to deploy the code then after uh, traffic will be distributed distributed with the help of load balancer to availability zone a availability zone b if everything goes on and obviously like some automation test cases will be fired here will be tested if everything goes well then using this automatic uh, auto automation deployment tool we will deploy it onto production environment so this is how your uh, release process work which means your uh, build and release process is taken care in such a way like first of all deployment peer review qa pre-prod and production fine then there are different strategies which we have already discussed and obviously i'm going to share the link of that particular video in your description box fine okay now when we are talking about like what is the role of devops team here so for sure providing this particular environment for deployment like uh, releasing code on pre-prod releasing code on production environment so this is the particular task of devops team here and guys, uh, let me tell you that I have taken this reference from Lucid Chart. As you can see, the link is coming in uh, like bottom. So definitely, I'm going to give this link. If you want to read this particular stuff in more detail, you can check that out. So for sure, like I was going through this with this link, and I thought of sharing this information with you will be helpful for you as well going forward in future for any interview purpose. Then I created this video. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time and happy learning. If you have any further questions, so you can write in comment box. I shall be creating further videos uh, like related to your questions and other doubts. And for like reference, I will definitely share the link of this particular site within description box. Thank you so very much. Have a good time and happy learning. Thank you very much.